23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Callum Hallman. Here's what we're tracking on this Monday. Despite those high winds across the state and here in Kern County, it appears power has been restored to hundreds of local customers who are impacted by public safety power shutoffs. PG&E implemented public safety power shutoffs on Sunday, which impacted more than 600 Kern County customers. The shutoffs began Sunday afternoon at 3 p.m., and PG&E had originally said that power would be fully restored by 10 o'clock tonight. However, at last check, power has been restored to all local PG&E customers who were impacted by those shutoffs. And some schools throughout Kern County will reopen for in-person learning this week. This after Kern County has spent two weeks in the red tier of the state's reopening system. Rio Bravo Elementary School opened today for kindergarten and TK students. The Kern High School District will welcome students with moderate to severe disabilities back on Wednesday. Student athletes can also begin after school conditioning that day. Panama Buena Vista is bringing back special education students starting Wednesday, and Bakersfield Christian and Garces High School will allow all students to return this week. After many months of planning and construction, the Brundage Lane Navigation Center is opening its doors to the public. The new homeless shelter will be located on East Brundage Lane, just down from Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard in East Bakersfield. The center will be able to house up to 150 people, and residents of the shelter will be given a bed, food, and other resources to help them get back on their feet. The Navigation Center hopes to get residents off of the streets and into permanent housing within 90 days. And now for a check of your forecast with Chief Meteorologist Elena Rusk. Hey, good morning. So we're still tracking this system closely. It's well off to our east. You see all the snow and heavy rain there on the front side. Here on the back side, some passing clouds, some blustery winds, some much cooler temperatures again today. We had the 60s yesterday afternoon that continues today, but with those winds rushing in from the desert, it keeps you only in those 50s for the South Mountains of Tatchby and Fraser Park, but also leaves you dangerously dry with those blustery winds. So we're very concerned about the fire conditions for today. Were there to be a spark, it would quickly get out of control up there. These dangerously dry conditions, we're talking only 10 to 20 percent humidity levels, blowing dust and debris as possible, potentially out into the desert, but possibly into the mountains as well. And then we have the potential for some fallen trees and downed power lines, which may spark their own fires if power is not shut off first. All right. Thanks, Lena. That's all for this update. Have a great Monday.